Alright, here, here's another crazy film uh, that I saw. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be born. Right, which is it's sort of like an exorcist. Um, uh, I guess a uh, rip off, but it is crazy as it got so many great actors in it: uh, Donald Pleasance, Joan Collins, Ralph Bates, Caroline Monroe. Uh, the idea is just crazy that um, bad movies, uh, the fan, what would a fanboy say? Uh, I think it's great. First off, you get to see. It's always like with these films, you get to see London uh, in the seventies. It's it's just interesting to look at a place that is, you know, no longer the way it is. You know, uh, and the idea is that Joan Collins gives birth to a baby. That I, you know, the doctor even says Donald Pleasance is like it's like he doesn't want to be born, so they have to like pull the thing out, and this baby, <laughs> it's like, you know, it's not like it's alive or it's a it's a mutant fanged baby with claws. This is like a baby, but he's like he's really strong. Uh, he's very nasty tempered, and he doesn't he's he attacks people <laughs> when they go to look at him or to bend over to you know. Uh, you know, look at him. Uh, he punches them. He scratches them, <laughs> their faces. Uh, and it, it just gets worse. Um, eventually, the, <laughs> the baby even kills the nanny. And it's funny because when you see that the, you see like the whole idea is a subplot where Joan Collins, uh, there's a, a I don't want to say the M word, but there's a, a little person that she used to do a striptease act with. <laughs> Yo, this movie's crazy. I'm serious. Uh, and somehow this thing is this this um, resentful little person uh, is related to this this crazy baby that can like you know <laughs> they kill people. <laughs> uh, I don't know how how else to describe this movie. Um, apparently, this movie when it came out, it was played. Like, it wasn't put forth as a horror film, which is, which made people, like, just, it was, it was outrageous seeing this film. But whatever, it's just, it was a fun movie. <laughs> One of the lesser known uh, Exorcist ripoffs uh, with some, like I said, with T.T., you know, the, the Donald Pleasance, man, he gets, oh, he gets messed up in this. Anyway, uh, just check it out. As you can see, it's, it's available all over the place. You can find your, you know, you can pick where you want to see it. I thought it was great. Well, yeah, another great uh, film directed by the same guy that directed that film I just uh, showed you with the uh, I Don't Want to Be Born, uh, which I just realized now is one of the lyrics to Venom song. So Venom, got, we're definitely watching horror films uh, before they started uh, uh, making music. Um, but uh, the, the, what is this? Peter Sasti, that's got to be a Hungarian name. Um, he had done this one for Hammer, and this film, this always, it's not as well known, but everyone says they are right. This this is one of the greatest, really great Hammer films that you've never heard of. Really well done, Hands of the Ripper. There's really n none of the major players that you usually have in the film or in it. It's a take on Jack the Ripper. Uh, of course, it's actually not Jack the Ripper, and this is afterwards. Okay? Uh, it should be, uh, you would think it was a, fe a film of female empowerment and uh, gender swapping, as they say. <laughs> uh, but it actually, the way it's done is really, uh, the term tragic, it is like a tragedy. I mean, essentially, these are, uh, I mean, the line between horror and Greek tragedy and Shakespeare is very, very, the veil is very, very thin. Like I said, just see like the scene, the, the night walker scene is just like straight up, you know, uh, Cockney prostitutes, and uh, you get the the one the 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 woman that takes her in. Uh, was it was her name? They call her like something Leslie or something. And the and the murder scenes and the in, in this really gory, very gory. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's like this well, this guy is like. Uh, like a doctor, but he's, he kind of screws up, <laughs> you know, 
uh, oops, anyway. Uh, so yeah, check uh, check out Hands of the Ripper. It seems to be uh, wildly available. Uh, like I said, the '70s ham, everybody rips on it. I don't know why, but uh, it, it's a film to check out from them. Uh, there's so many films they, they did that we, you know, that I've seen a lot, and this one really deserves to be the. Especially at the end, it's interesting how they shoot the architecture, how they integrate the architecture, the building they're in at the end. Uh, and um, yeah, just uh, check it out.